and welcome to my YouTube channel. In tonight's episode, I'm going to be going over the basic outline of my research guppy project. I am currently working on my senior research project for graduation, my bachelor's in biology. I want to go to grad school and continue in genetic research in the future, so hopefully I do want to keep this experiment going long term. And I'm looking for positive real-time feedback to enhance it. Um, so let's get started. I do want to keep these videos hopefully shorter than longer. I'm new to this. I've never posted anything on YouTube before, so this is my first adventure. I use YouTube a lot for studying. So again, I'm looking for positive feedback to enhance this project in real time. I have till May to turn it in, but I do want to continue this on and hopefully use it for grad school, but we'll see. Um, so this is tank one. I'm trying not to move really quickly because this tank one right here is supposed to be stress free. Um, I have four tanks, two stress free, two with the best makeshift predator I could make. I did not want to hurt these little guppies because they're so cute. But I do need some data to turn into my lovely teacher. So I have two stress-free, two with a predator that we made. I have one with gravel as you can see here in one let me move over here with this fine sand bottom let's see if these guys are i have been kind of standing around these guys slowly that's a male right there in front you can tell by their bottom didn't really know how to tell the difference but once i figured it out it's pretty obvious if you look at the bottom of their bellies the females have two fins the males have two fins and another part. This is the sand bottom. But I'm looking to influence the environment to see if I can see natural sexual selection in real time. So like you see here, this is stress-free with no predator. I just want to do the basic outline, so I'll post another video later on with the predator. I don't want to hurt these guys. They're so cute. But if you guys have any suggestions to enhance it, that's a female right there. The females are more mute. They're not as colorful. They're s their tails are a little smaller, at least in my tanks. I had guppies growing up, but I did not know anything about guppies besides that I got a lot more guppies than the two that I started with. I was in sixth grade, so that right there was a male coming in. That one behind it was a male. But in each tank, I have a heater. It's a two to a five gallon heater. One plant, right there. It's a five gallon tank. They're square, rectangle actually. A filter. I have a thermometer and they're all reading. Let me see if I can go over here to show you. No. Nope. Um, they're all reading about 78 degrees. The heaters have a scale of air of plus or minus two. So I'm hoping for 80 from the videos that I saw on YouTube, 80 is the best temperature to get them to reproduce the fastest. It's like 26 to 31 days to be, to get fries, baby guppies. They have that, let me see if I can show you, a gra gravel spot. When they're pregnant, they, it stands out more. It's on the back. You can kind of see it, that black spot right there on her gravel spot. It's a female. Oh, um, 
Yeah, let me go over here. Over here is my stress tanks. Let me go over here. Um, let's see, five gallons. I have them set up kind of lower down. I have a cat and a son and two step kids that are little rowdies. So um, I put these guys a little lower. The only variable I wanted to change, like have, was the predator. I wanted to keep all the environments as close as possible. Um, these guys, I stressed them earlier. I have stressed them in the morning, once in the afternoon, twice in the evening before bed. I turn the lights off in the evening time after I get done studying. Um, I read somewhere, I can't remember where, that uh, they're supposed to be covered or something like that in the evening. I don't, I don't know. Um, that one in the middle right there, that's a male. That dark one's a female, looks like. That gold one's a male. I have two males and three females in each tank. This is the gravel stress. Um, I'll post a, another video with the predator that I made. It's a non-toxic oven baked clay black cichlid like fish on a skewer stick that I try to concentrate on the females mainly. I do stress the males but not as heavily. I, I do the females more heavy, heavily. Um, this is the fine gravel. But the point is to stress the fish and as they produce fry, they're going to be more muted with the stressor because they're going to try not to be eaten. They're going to want to blend in. And the non-stress fish, guppies rather, sorry, um, are gonna be more colorful, more fancy. They're gonna, they're not gonna have anything to worry about. They're gonna just display for those females the best they can, and the females are gonna be a little bit larger. I'm assuming they're probably gonna have a little bit longer reproductive cycle than these stressed guppies. I have a feeling these guys are going to be a heck of a lot faster and probably a little smaller at birth. I'd assume a little bit more fry count. I'm going to separate the f pregnant ladies. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a gallon and a half little beta tank. Sorry, this is over here. You can't see it. Probably it's a little bitty, but I have a little divider. There's a bunch of fries in there from earlier. The lady was the mama was eating them, so I had to put her, I reacclimated her back to the tank. It was the stress-free gravel. Um, what I have here, what I did was, I have a little ruler right here I wanted to show you. And I took a screenshot of each one of these next to this guy, so I can get the best size. And I want to try to measure the fries too. I don't want to stress them out trying to measure them because like I said I just want to do the stress of the little fake predator. Um, these guys didn't like, like the stress at first and they were kind of all over the place but now when I stress them they kind of just hover like this in the corner. They get an S curve in their spine. And they don't like it much <laughs> for obvious reasons. I really don't want to hurt these guys. They're so pretty. But um, I have these over here too. They're still kind of settling. I bought these two. They're a gallon little beta tanks with bubblers that I wanted to try to um, separate each fry and the pregnant ladies. 
so I can measure them and monitor their growth rates for each generation. So if you guys have any suggestions that's going to make that any easier, just let me know. I do want to continue this. I'm looking for feedback. If you guys have the species and genus names of these guppies, that would be helpful too. So just let me know. Post, comments, like, subscribe, share. I'm new to this. I'm looking for suggestions. I want to document using YouTube. So thank you for watching. Click, share, like. Thanks again.